Omar Ahmed IFL TV MTK Global wearing the uh, very nice Prada t-shirt is uh, trainer Eddie Kelly. How are we doing? First time on camera, Eddie, eh? First time, mate. First of many to come. Of course, uh, I wanted to get you on today because uh, Hamza Shiraz's profile uh, is grown so much. We've seen some brilliant performances from him recently. Obviously, he was uh, fortunate to get out after lockdown. Uh, so, yeah, just must be pleased that it, he's got out in a situation where a lot of boxers can't, Eddie. Yeah, I mean, he was the first title fight. Uh, live on TV to be broadcast after the corona. Um, yeah, I mean, he's flying, isn't he? He's flying. He's um, He's got all these people calling him out. He's got all these people that, you know, supporting him. And so he's, he's making the right, you know, noise, as we say. Mm. Let's talk about uh, at 54. Um, from one of Frank's guys first. We'll talk about the matchroom guys later. Uh, but Troy Williamson saw him in action recently against Harry Scarf. Uh, a lot of people had Harry winning that fight and it, some, some had it a draw. Um, what do you make of uh, Troy as a fight and also the fact that he, he's wanting that Hamza Shiraz fight? And obviously, you're backing your man all the way, obviously. <clears throat> um, my point, my opinion on Troy is that he's he, he's, he's a try, you know. He's trying. He wants these big fights and he's calling out these big fighters. Where he's up there with them, I don't think he is. Um, I mean, he got lucky against Harry Scarf. My opinion was Harry Scarf beat him and bullied him around the ring. Um, and you've got to bear in mind, I think Harry Scarf's only had one stoppage in his um, whole career. So, I mean, but he, he didn't deserve the fight. But, I mean, he keeps calling Hamza out. We haven't called him out at all. Um, the fight's there down the line. Um, I can't see why not. He don't offer nothing, though, personally. He's, he hasn't got a massive fan base. Um, I mean, he, the only time you see him is when yourself is pushing him in the interviews and that, but no, I don't think he offers nothing. I don't think he's a problem. Um, hands are beating quite comfortable, in my opinion, probably within three rounds. Three rounds? Yeah, within three rounds, 100%. Um, and that's no exaggeration. Listen, we're in the gym, you, even yourself, we, we'll get you down. You'll see how hard the kid actually is. He has to have four padmen. Um, he offers he offers nothing to Hamza. He don't, I don't see what he brings to the table. Um, so you'd take that fight next, yeah? Um, oh, personally, me, yeah, I would um, take it. He's just, I don't see a problem in it. It's a fight that, you know, it's its an easy win, comfortable win for us, personally. But uh, you've got to look at the side. It's, it's, it's a business. What's he actually offer? All he's done is called him out. If Hamza spent every time fighting someone who calls him out, then he'll never get to the top, you know, and we're, we're aiming to go to the top. So, you know. Um, but Troy Williamson, he's a trier. He's what's he thirty? I think he's 32, 33. So he's he's in a rush. Hamza's twenty one. We've got a long, long road ahead of us. So along that line is we're fine. When the time's right, we're fine. There's no stress. Um, does he deserve it? No. Okay. Frank Warren put that proposal to Eddie Earn a few weeks ago, and uh, Hamza was on the poster, of course, with Ted. Um, I don't know how realistic that is because, you know, Frank and Eddie haven't met yet, so we don't know if these match of the Queensbury fights are going to be made, but uh, I'm sure you jump at that one straight away. Yeah, listen, look, Ted's a great guy. Um, he's trainer, Tony, great people. You know, I see him. I've been over there a few times, but I'm quite close with his camp, Martin Ward. I know him. He's a great guy. Um, the fight is, is on paper, he's there. Um, Hamza's still young. Ted's Ted's fighting all these big fights with I don't know Fitzgerald and that, and he's been quite unlucky in some of them. But personally, I think Hamza stops him not early. I think he's breaking down, breaking down, and only because I know how hard this kid really is at super welter. I know how hard he is, and he is hard. Um, and yeah, I think. Whoever he hits later on, ties him down, they go to sleep. Do you think you have a future world champion? 100%. 100%. Um, listen, Hamza's, Hamza's dedicated himself to sports since the age of eight years old. I've seen him when he was eight years old. we trained in the same gym together since he was eight years old. Um, I've coached him since he came to us at Five Star, but he hon honestly, I swear to God, hand on heart, his boxing IQ in the game is what sets him apart from the others. He breaks down a fighter, he can break him down, and then he puts it to plan, and you've seen it, it works. You know, he started off a bit slow when he started his jump, but now he's starting to get his strength, and now he's he's really hitting hard. And he, he, and 
his boxing ability is brilliant. So he can box on the back foot, he can go forward, he can come at angles, he can hit hard, he can, he, he can he's all ran, great. And he honestly, I swear to God, hands on heart, he is he's going to be a world champion. Who else are you working with then, Eddie? Um, another little uh, prospect coming through. He, he he does his signings, I think he's got his signings September the 2nd, one to look out for him or Khan. He had, he had a short amateur experience, but he was more fitted to the pros, you know? Um, well, I'll put this out on Wednesday. You can say who he's signing with. Yeah, he's signing with Frank Warren. Um, I mean, Uma Khan, he, he's another fight. He likes to fight, you know? We've got to keep him controlled, but he can also box. We're working closely with Colin McMillan, and Colin McMillan was a wicked short fighter, you know? Um so every attribute Colin as we try and put in with Uma because he's got it all, you know. He, he, Uma Khan is going to s- sign over at a young age but to the point of where we're going to build him up like hands have been built up um, and he'll get the stoppages, the, he'll be in the big fights. He's entertaining. He's very entertaining. He, he's done... Un- he's, he was When he was at Retton, he was with Dennis McCann, uh, trained alongside each other at Retton. They've done hundreds of rounds. So we know he can fight because if he can hold his own with Dennis, you know he, we know he can fight. You know because Dennis is a great fighter. Um, he spars some of the best kids in the country, you know, and he really is something special. His movement, he's, he's a switch hitter. He can do it all. He can he can show it all. He really is. All right, Eddie Kelly. Uh, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Best of luck uh, in your future career, especially uh, for now with Hamza and Omar. Mm-hmm.